His name is Nana Yabwache. We've already had reports on Fanti Kinky and Ga Kinky. We'll be hearing a report on our checkers shortly. But have you heard of the island that has red, black, and white pebble beaches? An island with stunning sunset views and so beautiful that it's believed to be the lost Atlantis city spoken of by Plato? Yes, Santorini in Greece is such an island. Join Araba Commission of Joy News as we bring you the 8th edition of Discover the World Tour series but by Atlantic Travels and Joy FM. On this 10-day journey, you will not only discover Santorini, but also get to see and feel Athens, the historical capital of Europe. From Greece, there will be a four-night stopover in Istanbul where you have fun as the Violand theme park and a guided shopping tour to bring home the best goodies of Europe. The travel date is um, 1st to 11th of May 2019. The entire package is $2,990 per person, covering return flights, accommodation, visa, support, meals, tours, and many more. Don't be dull in 2019. Join Araba to widen your world on Turkish Airlines from 1st to 11th May. On this uh, Greek, Greece and Turkey trip, visit advancedtravels.com to register or pick a form at Joy FM front desk. Call Advancy Travels now on 0556-310-404 or 024-360-6648 to book. Remember that we'll be taking you to the Tang Palace Hotel today for the Joy Financial Services Forum. We are featuring the insurance industry today. Shalom bro, mine is Kokonte and groundnuts or peanuts. My name is Po Ofori of Osu. My cousin Anthony says fufu and palm nut soup mixed with abibie. Um, snails, akrantie, kotoje and smoke. Hey, Charlie, what, how many things? Are you opening a zoo in your this thing? There's snails, there's akrantie, there's kotoje inside your soup. He also loves acheke, apreprensa, abetie, tz, koko. Oh, Ghana meals, the best they ever made. But but look, today we become a Chinese people and rice every day. Yet, we know few rice. <laughs> Interesting message there. Okay, speaking of a checker, in Athalia Kwanza put together this beautiful number on my, my staple food. It is called Acheke, a name derived from Acheke. That is how the Ebra people of Ivory Coast call it. During the late 19th century, a lot of Ghanaian merchants came in from Ivory Coast to do business. It is believed they brought the food to Ghana. Today, Acheke is cooked a little differently from the traditional Ivorian way. Acheke, yakoto. We mix the cassava dough with water in pan. Then when the dough settles, we pour the water away. After that, we put the dough in a sack, then put it under heavy bricks to drain the water out of the dough so that we can get dry dough. After it is dried, we sieve it and dry it again in the sun. From there, we start preparing the acheke on fire. The preparation of this food goes through five to six stages, which demand a lot of time and energy. Bosuma Kaku has for the past 20 years prepared and sold acheke. This is a whole acheke factory. <laughs> My mother sent me to get this for her at a price of 80 Ghana cities. We have a measuring cup ranging from 1 cities to 2 cities. We have a measuring cup ranging from 1 cities to 2 cities. We have a measuring cup ranging from 1 cities to 2 cities. We have a measuring cup ranging from 1 cities to 2 cities. We have a measuring cup ranging from 1 cities to 2 cities. We have a measuring cup ranging from 1 cities to 2 cities. We have a measuring cup ranging from 1 cities to 2 cities. We have a measuring cup ranging from 1 cities to 2 cities. We have a measuring cup ranging from 1 cities to 2 cities. We have a measuring cup ranging from 1 cities to 2 cities. We have a measuring cup ranging from 1 cities to 2 cities. Is mixed with water poured into a sack, which is laid on a wooden structure tied with a rope to essentially drain the water. This process takes hours and sometimes days. The cassava is dried in the sun and then steamed to produce a cheque. In fact, we don't use time, but when we fill the cassava dough and it is dried and okay as to work, we start preparing it. It is very, very difficult in preparing a cheque. At times after doing it, we feel a lot of pain in our body, especially in our palms. 
It is best eaten with fried fish, with pepper, and onions. Meet Chef Robert A.J. He works here at the Aya Community Center. He tells me about the high demand of achake, especially from foreigners who visit the western region. The achake is prepared with cassava, with the squeeze. Um, they have their special way of doing it. So we purchase it from the best achake maker. And then here, what we do is we project the value of the community to any guest. We don't say only for the local people. But you can see that some of the foreigners, when they come, they want to test the, the food of the, the area, I mean the, the community. So we have this achake in tilapia. We have our onion. It's just onion we toss and make it a little bit juicy. Kofi Kwainu tasted a cheke for the first time. He loved it. My dear, this is my first time I made a cheke. Mm. What's a cheke? Do a cheke? Do. Masa, mm. oi the papa. Mm. A cheke, masa, oi the rough. Mm. It's the brown baby. Mm. Indeed, it is tasty. Just look at what I'm eating. We always talk about continental dishes, but I must say, this is very superb. I drove all the way from Takwadi to buy it from the right sauce. I mean, in Zimmerland. It's like now we live in a global village where people want to eat from other people's, um, your, your native food, and people can boast of different foods. And as an Nzema and I can boast of my acheke. And I tell them, some even eat with pear. So you could see people here, acheke and pear, acheke and pear. But I prefer to eat it with my paposhito, and that is it. It took us four hours preparing this. We went through six processes. As you can see, I am very tired. It is not easy just to prepare that special delicacy enjoyed by every person here in the Western region. In Athalia Kwansa, Joy News, Ariabo, Western Region. Seventeen minutes past nine in the Super Morning Show. Enjoy ninety nine point seven FM. I am Daniel Daz here with Nane Abuachi. He's the head of Bantama Avenue. Uh, he's a local food premier. There's any more Nimado and Raymond Aqua. All local food consumers. I should, if I could introduce you guys. Nane, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Great, great. It's great to have you in studio. Now, um, it's chic, isn't it? People see it as posh to be seen eating pizza hamburger what have you you're a young person Gosh. what's what's um made you decide to have such a, a business where you're just selling local food okay um i think um our local delicacies are very very um healthy and um, it is very delicious and some of these indigenous foods are um, getting wiped out with these uh, pizzas, filet mm -hmm. mignons, and all that, so <laughs> so I decided to, you know, most of the time when I'm in Accra, I don't get these foods to eat, only when I'm in Kumasi. So I thought, you know, a lot of people are also actually in my shoes as well. So let me just bring one stop from, you know, the real taste of Kumasi to um, Accra, East mm. Lagos. So mm -hmm. basically. 
that is what Bantama Avenue is about. So Bantama is a taste of Bantama Avenue is the taste of Bantama in Accra. No, not just Bantama, but let's say Kumasi in general. Okay, okay, interesting. So I'm I'm looking at the menu here. Anyma Angwamu. Yes. Eto. Yes. Yes. Oh, eh, eh, good morning to Dr. Rajwanunu. She was lambasting me just a moment ago for not adding Ampesie and uh, Ampesie any album. Let me put it that way. And she's been to Bantu Avenue. She, Dr. Rajwanunu? Yes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And then, Charlie, when am I going to Bantu Avenue? <laughs> oh, but really, uh, Raymond, it's more than just That's food, isn't it? You started the conversation with me. Now you've moved to Raymond. Oh, you haven't talked some? No. Oh, sorry, you said sorry, any more. Talk some, then, talk some. But you haven't asked the question. Say something, say something. So what's the question? Okay, so, um, I mean... It's more than just food. It's more than just And food. yes, I think the thing about Ghanaian food is also the sense of family and togetherness. Um, when I think of fufu and soup, I'm thinking of Saturday afternoon lunches and almost every Ashanti home, they are pounding fufu. Well, these days, actually, they are cheating the fufu. Um, they, I, I don't know what the English... The Ashanti homes, the fufu starts in the morning. <laughs> the fufu starts in yeah. the morning. I met a man who I met a man who said that on Saturdays he must eat fufu. Therefore, if he's going for a funeral and he's leaving the house at five, his wife knows that by four thirty the fufu has to be ready. He has to eat the fufu before he goes. You know, so for my late grandmother, if she hasn't eaten fufu, she tells she hasn't eaten. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 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 Oh, and yeah, today we haven't eaten. Today we haven't. So, we have, so sometimes, rice. yeah, so sometimes yeah. food, I, the Ghanaian food is more of a, a family, you know, a sense of Saturday mornings, kinky. There was a tradition when I was growing up when the young men, Saturday morning, go and eat yorks, which is your kegari. Or even now still, you know, Saturday morning, Sunday morning, there's the wache. You know, it's kind of a movement, it's a fraternity. You get to Auntie Muniz, for example, the, there's a whole gang there. There's conversation, there's, you know. So it's definitely, I, but Daniel, why are you laughing? There's a man, there's, a man can there's laugh conversation <laughs> on his own show in there's, his own studio. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's there's conversation going around it, and and it's funny because there's certain days as well. Sunday afternoons, you find that it's omuto, so you will go to the chobas, and they're not actually doing fufu. So you know that well. Some of them have discovered a place that does fufu on on Sunday afternoon. Good morning, Auntie Reggie, if you are listening, and thank you for making fufu on Sundays. But Sunday afternoon, most places are making omuto, which goes with palm nut soup and the green leaves, and then the beans, and then the meat stew inside the palm nut soup it's amazing like you know it's a it's like a religion food watching like, watching your passion this morning and listening to you is like it's like i'm watching a performance on stage it's, it's amazing isn't yeah. it amazing the like passion I mean, with which she talks about food and and malik i'm reminded of when we went to tamale oh here we go and we went but to Ma- buy mbaya Ma- which you didn't bring <laughs> some, some for us both um, malik I, and daniel I, I brought some but just not for us it just didn't get here yeah right. it didn't reach here <laughs> yeah, I, I, we are sorry, it yeah. should have reached here but we are sorry. unfortunately mm. well, oh, but, but malik um, isn't mm. it isn't it so refreshing to know that we still have a connection to our roots through these local recipes and these local foodstuffs. It absolutely is. And you find that because food is cultural, even when people travel uh, or when people live outside of the jurisdiction of Ghana, they still want to stay connected. Ask, I, to I always used to ask people to um, freeze kenke and pepper because when I lived in London, when you make the pepper, it is not like the kenke sellers. Which, you know, they don't add um, tomatoes to the pepper. Mm-hmm. And then the black pepper has a certain taste. So I would always ask when my friends were coming back, please buy me kenke and pepper and the red fish and freeze it and bring it to me. And I would thaw it and eat it over two hours because when it gets finished, you understand, you will not get... You will not Let's get the authentic pepper. Oh, God. I know people who Shall freeze it? wache mm, and right? take it. Yes. Right? They right? freeze wache in Ghana and they take it to the US or UK. Okay. But the point they're making is because food is cultural, we tend to have a certain emotional and sentimental attachment to yeah. the various food, especially food that we grew up eating. We grew eating. Yeah. Um, and when you were talking about people's love for fufu, I just laughed. It, it laughed. In many parts of the north too, it's the same uh, sentimental attachment people have to fufu. Except that we don't have coconut in, in the... Uh, did I say coconut? <laughs> yeah, coconut. Coconut. Yeah. We don't have coconut yeah. in the north, so the fufu is largely yam-based. Okay. You mean you don't Some, have cassava? 
Yeah, we ha- we oh, do have yeah. cassava. So in some instances, you have cassava, but the fufu in the north is largely yam fufu, fufu, which is very nice. Fufu. That's what that's what soup. we have. And yeah. you have many many people. If they don't eat fufu, they feel they haven't eaten. In fact, if you give a wala man yam like ampesi, he will tell you that ah, my uncle no to I can't mm-hmm. use my mouth to pan fufu. Thank so, you. <laughs> 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 you know, so you, you know? have to, you have to pound it. And it is the fufu. Some want to eat it morning, afternoon, evening. And they want please, to eat it. God bless Gonja fufu people anywhere they are. If you meet a Gonja, just greet the person. You know, Gonjas have solved the problem with two people needing to pound fufu. Uh, yes. Even though, yes, uh, um, Akans also have where they use it. No, but the, the, the mortar with the long, the long mortar. Uh-huh, that one. Yeah, when you put the yam in there, you, it just turns itself. I, I, it was like they have, magic. They have a skill of it. It was like magic. Pounding it. Yeah, yeah. Back, 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 like well, 15 minutes. Interestingly, so have the Chinese. Um, when it comes to fufu mm-hmm. as well, because they're the ones, I mean, you it's right now, you can't talk about anything without talking about the Chinese. No, I it's think they were one of the, no, 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 not the first, they were one of the first people to bring, you know, the massive machines which soften, and so the choppers and stuff will mm. carry, some of the choppers will carry the cocoa yam, the plantain to these places for them to soften it before mm. they bring it to pound. Not to pound to my avenue. Not yeah. pound to my, yeah. we're no, rolling no, like that. that. No, you know, no. We've got a traditional way. Very traditional. No, original you know. fufu comes in some machine it, to be fair you know and there's someone turning it you know that's the real fufu so I'm you know there are some additions that come with pounding it <laughs> I, right? there I are some additions that come with yeah. pounding but I can't see it <laughs> to make it a little salty <laughs> yeah, yeah just like the way you by the gun you know what so good morning to Esmeralda Thompson doing the listening he says Daniel talk about <laughs> local snacks like Epiti Bodo Tatar Aboboy and Tatar uh, and Aboboy is not a snack though it's a full meal Oh, no, tatar can be eaten as a snack. Right. Okay. Yeah, it can be. I mean, it's like um, fried plantain. Yeah, it depends on portions you are consuming and how you are consuming. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> 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 I'm laughing because I'm reminded of a friend of mine who says, you know, um, I know we are talking about getting food, but conflicts is, is one meal for him. The whole box of conflicts <laughs> <laughs> is one meal for him. He yeah. just sits and consumes, consumes it, it. the yeah, entire no. thing. Uh, but, 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 tell me about the experience that people have, particularly people not of Guinean descent, at a place like yours when they come. How much of our culture are we export in using uh, food, food culture, food business, I should say? I've had a, have, I've had a couple of um, foreigners coming in, enjoying the fufu, even our own locals, you know, some of them haven't eaten a toy in forever. Mm. When you come to Bantama Avenue, we serve a tour on the daily. You know, there's Koko tour, there's Bwadiya tour. Even if you want a go, you get it at Bantama Avenue. Okay, yeah, do, do, do you know what that is? No, what's yeah. that? Yeah. Hold on, I'm not done yet. We serve Chinkafa as well. Chinkafa is an uh, is a house word for rice, mm-hmm. but it's a delicacy originated from the north. It looks like wache made with local brown rice. It comes with all the attributes that wache comes with: the talia, the mm-hmm. the, madia, kusia. Yeah. the egg is actually boiled and fried. But it's yes. not the one that the woman announces the food when she's selling it. Yes, it's also called it's also called queen queen because uh-huh. they use the ladle to, to hit, hit the the queen queen. You know, <laughs> it's chinkafa. Mm-hmm. Um, wache comes nowhere close to. When it comes to taste, I agree. People don't understand. And you have to try it to know it. Do you have wagashi? Do you have wagashi? No, we don't have wagashi. Oh. It doesn't go. Do you add dawa dawa to the? Do you add dawa dawa yes, to your? Yes, we do. Yes, because it is a dawa dawa that makes that kind of shinkafa. It's a dawa dawa that makes it. It has its own flavor. It's tasty. It's nice. I saw some other versions. Some woman brought it to this place and I was disappointed when I consumed it finally. Mm. Yeah, some other versions. You mean with was, you were disappointed when you ate it? Yes. Uh, when uh, he consumed it finally. <laughs> 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 Why? <laughs> because, I see, your time might be used to something. If you don't that, get that, it might look like the mm. same thing. It sounds like the same thing because the woman was doing the skills. But what is the science behind when your tongue is used to something different? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, allow me to speak. <laughs> but finally, when you get to consume it, you don't think that um, you are consuming the right thing. And that's what happens to me sometimes when I consume some of the food. My favorite is fufu and the chicken lice soup. Okay. Hard chicken. Lay our broiler. 
No, 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 I'm talking about the chicken garnish. Oh, not the one that they brought through somewhere, killed somewhere. No, Five years ago, the one six that somebody years ago. yes did their own from home, and the chicken was not even red; it was trained. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so mm-hmm. it, it has prepared mm-hmm. for me. If you are cooking, if you are cooking, so, so uh-huh. uh-huh. that is what I want to say. <laughs> <laughs> say that, so let's go. So, so that one is, and you see, there's a difference between that one and the one that I consume elsewhere when I'm consuming the other kind of foods mm-hmm. because one, you feel the bone is different. Not the kind of bone yeah. that if you touch it, it breaks anyhow. Bone. That bone you can't break only a small part of it <laughs> and feel the bone marrow properly and understand the concept of that deep within your soul. Human aqua. Yes. I have never heard you speak so deeply, passionately about. Yes, because I for the fufu and the <laughs> and sucking the marrow from the bone. Yeah. My, my wife tried an innovation by adding, uh, is it carrots? To okay. the oh, so I was shocked, but it wasn't bad. To the what? To, to the, the food, live to the soup. soup. The live soup. So mm-hmm. my. Then she blended it with the yeah. tomatoes. No, actually, she cut into some smaller portions and added it to it. She's just but trying to get you to eat vegetables. Uh, it, <laughs> <laughs> it gave it a different flavor, though. But it was also an innovation that I was interested in. But but you know, it's one of the shocks I had mm-hmm. in this case is the kind of food that you see. What my mother thinks is unacceptable. My family will never eat for food with some. Uh, what they call elements Bobby, in it, the, the, yeah. The, the lumps. No, so I ate for food outside for the first time, and I was shocked that that thing could be in there. I stopped eating immediately. Like I can't tell one <laughs> <laughs> because to my people, it is a sign of very poor production. Yeah. <laughs> a lot, yes, it's a sign of very poor production standard. that you couldn't power for food properly. <laughs> so <laughs> therefore, it's had lumps. If I am not qualified to be, you know, <laughs> but you know, <laughs> even for some people, even for some people. Eh, Hard, they want they don't want it too soft, they don't want the fufu too soft. Yeah, um, I have a friend who says fufu don't no chew, meaning, meaning you, you have to feel it when you're swallowing it, so they like it to be very hard for lumpy fufu. There are just a few people who can enjoy it, but I'm curious about this point. Nanael, there these are different recipes from across the country, so how do you get all of them in one place like that? Okay, so, um, because we wanted to be original and authentic. I brought these people from Kumasi to come and make this food. You know what I'm saying? So, mm-hmm. um, you can get akuko rere and kwine at Bantam. Really. What's rere? It looks like granite. Yes, but it's not granite. It tastes better than granite. It's what? That's it. Yeah. Okay, there's a name they have for it. But how do you call it? <laughs> yeah, I've forgotten the English word for it. It's one of those, uh, it's in the uh, nut family. Cashew? No, not cashew. Ah, cashew, say. Almonds? <laughs> hazelnuts? I think we No, I think the rare is what we know. We will keep okay. it rare. <laughs> it's your homework. It's your homework anymore. So okay. have... oh, oh, but if you know the, the English name for rare, please join us. Uh, 0244347. <laughs> I'm going to open. I'll let you continue, Daniel. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to open the phone lines now. I'm gonna, I can pick a few calls. 0302216541. 0302216541. Oh, no. Why are you guys making me salivate this morning? Me. And that's I'm sitting here. I'm fasting. And I'm talking about food. You can <laughs> can imagine how painful it is. Um, is there two four four three four zero four three seven? That's and, um, and then, 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 then all this finish. conversation. Malik, Malik, you haven't Malik. mentioned two Zafu, the king of all the food. The eh? <laughs> we haven't gotten there yet. What is he saying? The who? The who? Why? Why is he saying? Oh, please. Okay, so say, say your own. The who? Okay, uh-huh. okay, okay. I'm corrected. It's okay. Then I'll continue. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> and so we, we serve TZ, also known as the who. Do you do I mean, Akle? Popularly known as Deho in Kumasi, so it's only right hey. we call it Deho <laughs> at Bantama Avenue. Okay. And we have a mutio. You know there are two soups for a mutio. Yes. We have the no, there are two types of palm nut soups. Mm-hmm. Right. We have the mutio palm nut soup and we have the fufu palm nut soup. Mm-hmm. Oh really? Which one has beans in it? The oh, beans mutu. is extra, you just have to put it inside. Oh, okay. And the okay. green what's the green thing? It's called alefi. I'll, um. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Rere is melon, melon seeds. seeds. Someone uh, just oh, okay. wonderful. It's not in the nuts family. Okay, uh, uh, Godfrey is on the nuts. phone lines. <laughs> <laughs> Godfrey is on the phone lines for Westlands. <laughs> Your botany lecture will get you, Raymond. Um, Godfrey, good morning. Good morning. Hi, are we making you salivate this morning? Um, I've personally been to Bank Mall in countless times, and I think it's. One of the best joints we have in Ghana, and now I'm sure we want to go there. Okay, I love I love the w- the way you describe it. Joint It's not it's not a yeah. restaurant. It's a joint. Um, but you see, you see, it's, it's coming from Kumasi. We wouldn't polish it at restaurants. We'll call it a joint because <laughs> good good places like that with good food are called joints. 
<laughs> Thank you very much, Governor, for calling us from Westlands. Let me uh, come back to the studio. Before we f- before we finish, Malik, what's the best um, Jeho place that you know? In Accra, um, no. Um, when, I, when I used to... When I used to live at the University of Ghana, we go to Jubilee. There was this, um, in fact, both both places, Jubilee and Bushke, were these places where they used to sell. And w- sometimes you actually queued to buy the two hey, Zafi. We have there. to talk yeah. about the religious matter of the Wachi queue in Ghana. Okay, but and the people who break the law by jumping it. I'm coming in. And calling uh, beforehand to Mark order. Mark is calling from Tema. Mark is calling. <laughs> Mark. Yes. Mark, good morning. Please turn off the radio by you. Eh? What's okay, your favorite but, but, local food? Uh, you know, you were talking about Rere. The Rere infantry is called Actua. Ah. Oh, it's, it's not the same thing. Yeah. So, Nanaya disagrees. Because no, I know that, Akatua. That... Hello? Yes, because I know Akatua. Yeah. Um, okay, okay. Yeah. Yes, you know, but... Akatua has a, a wide background. Because before you split it to get the inner one. And the way it looks like it, but it it has a, 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 a black background. So they look alike, but they are not That's the right. same. That's right. That is right. Oh, okay, That's right. okay, okay, okay. It's like Raymond and myself. Um, Prince is calling for Kumasi. Raymond doesn't look like me. Uh, hello. Good morning, Prince. Good morning, Daniel. Please, how are you doing? I am blessed. How are you doing? I'm yeah, managing. Yeah. You know what? Now that you're on the line, have you tried Ebunu Ebunu at Makion restaurant in Kumasi before? It's my joint, as the man said, my joint. Your joint is Makione. Makione, Charlie... Asqua, Asqua, Asqua. Yes, I mean, the last time oh. I was there, I mean, look, it was mm. a, a little taste of heaven. What's your favorite uh, local food, Prince? Uh, I'm an Ewe, so you know, obviously, it's Akpere, right? But I say, Akpere. Uh, yes, Akpere. Uh-huh. And you know, I've been uh, Akpere, Akpere with them, um, uh, you know, spicy kind of pepper with, you know, our test school boys, that kind of thing. Yes. It goes, yeah, it goes with it. I mean, those but school boys since, drop out. Oh, oh. Hmm. Since, since, uh, since uh, like, you know, I, I was raised by the accounts, I, I, I know they are, who is one of my favorites as well, you know. So the next time I'll come to Accra, I think I'll walk straight to uh, Bantuma uh, Avenue and then, you know, Philip my it's, it's, you know, authentic as he's preaching. He's preaching then, <laughs> Yeah, he's preaching food. I don't it's deeply spiritual. Look, when Jacob but was it, about, I was about to bless his son. <laughs> Jacob was the one who received the blessing. Hey, Charlie, no, no, I'll stop mentioning Jacob's name on the show. Jerry's calling from East Legon. Um, oh, hi, good morning, Jerry. <laughs> Jerry, let me ask you a question. <laughs> the TZ and the. Solid. Jerry, let me ask you a question here. Uh, but I want to correct something here. Go ahead. Very rare, uh, which the girls call Abushi or the Akatwa is the same thing. Just that those ones are very small and it is very hard to crack it. So normally, uh, it is being fried with the hack. Then grind it together, then you strain the hack out of the, uh, the product. That is how come it is called very rare. Okay. The rare debate is stretching on because we have a number of different um, opinions on this. Poncho is calling from Wenchi. Good morning, Poncho from Wenchi. Good morning, my good friend. How are you doing? I am blessed. Please turn off the radio by you and listen to me on the phone. Um, so what's your contribution? Oh, okay. This morning, let me take uh, very time to see everyone who listened to me this morning. Uh, I hear you were saying something about uh, my favorite favorite food and so on and so on. So. You know, me, I'm from Buhanafu, um, that's German North. But you come to that place, I hear some people are saying, Acheke, Acheke, Acheke. The Acheke is my favorite food, you know, but it's very, very, I don't know, maybe you have been taking that food at all, I don't know. But why you come to that place too? Uh, we were, uh, the, um, uh, what do you call it? The Abitia yeah. food. But you have the local one, the, the uh, local one. You have the, uh, that's the, it's black, you know. Okay. It's black, but it's not quite like what uh, you will, the other one you're talking about. Okay. Uh, the local one, I like that one part with um, the green green, you know. The uh, green green. 
Thank you very much, Poncho from Wenchi. Uh, Michael Ochi tweeted at us. He said, in Ghana, if the watch is not beside a gutter, then it's not correct watch. Hashtag Joe SMS. <laughs> I think we have to put a watch inside. There's some, there's some I mean, factual basis to that. <laughs> Because Wait, if what's you try the empirical, ba- what's the empirical backing? Because for cl- the proximity, no, let me ask you <laughs> from the proximity of watches. You know, some time ago there was a project. There was a project to make sure that we move the watches from a bit far from the gutter so that we can protect and get people to eat the food. Even the FDA recognized that it was an important portion of the- <laughs> I agree. And last month, um, the Minister for Zon- the Zongo, yes. they did a whole um, workshop training for the women who were yeah. cooking wache so that they'll, they'll be packaging. And, and we called it wache to the world, if you remember, That's yeah. on the news. That's how important wache is. Yeah. It is a necessary, yeah. But this guy um, has sent us um, the most interesting tried and tested v- food vendors, but he's he's focusing in Kumasi. I'm just going to do a few. He says, Edum, ADB, Gary, and Beans. The mm-hmm. queue there is longer than U.S. visa applicants. <laughs> if you have Fufo Patasi, over the Apoto, you are size and queue reflects the buyer. Yeah. Sorry. He didn't pronounce his word. If, if you have Fufu, fufu. <laughs> hey, Bantama Night Watcher, you are likely to be abused in that queue because it is mostly bought as hangover first aid. You skipped one. You skipped one. You skipped one. A Doom Vodafone teaser is a battle of silver in Chensi by Brooke Civil Servants. That is the battle of silver in Chensi by, by Brooke. Yeah, Amancia Choba. Q is made up of those who don't buy Foco. Patasi Paparasi Grill Tilapia. The Q is mostly by Trimude side chicks with no mercy, and they point to the biggest tilapia as if. Denyami Kenke, please. Denyami, Denyami, Hey, members, Denyami Kenke. Fleet of parked taxis reflects queuing drivers who chop into their <laughs> car owner's account. <laughs> Quadraso Estates fried pork. After drinking their their tetashi, that's the only place where shouting to place an order is yes. And that's opposite my house. Oh, really? Oh, okay. <laughs> a Doom Post Office watch, a queue is mostly by bankers who slip takeaway into briefcase. Bypass them and they will bypass you in the banking hall. <laughs> and that's from Virus to North Vegan. Thank you so much, Virus. That's, that's a great one. That's a great one. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay. So, uh, unfortunately, we have to wrap up the discussion here. Nanea, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, so, the next um, meeting of the Super Morning Show team, in fact, today our review meeting will be at Bantam Avenue. So, um, yeah, Please bed you, actually. Yeah. <laughs> so we, are, we are near ANC, six houses from ANC on the Jungle Avenue. All right. You know, and if you want, um, Mankeng Fufu, Bodhi Fufu, Reverend Kwai, Ebune Ebune, Kati Konto, Lies. Look, it's okay. I'm yeah. already hungry. It's okay. It's okay. Brave, yeah. <laughs> and you're open from what time to what time? From 11 to 8 p.m. So if I come in at 7.30, I can get Fufu? Yeah. It is very essential because sometimes in the evenings we are looking for fufu. Every day. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. Wait, every day as in Monday to Sunday. Like Monday to Monday, every day. Oh, nice. All right. Thank you very much, Nanaya, for joining us today. The next... Um